The sound devices Mix Pre 3 and Mix Pre 6 have several different powering options. Recorders need to be flexible in their powering solutions because that means that recorders can be used in a variety of situations where you may have different power solutions available to you. So the really nice thing is that the power solutions work for both the Mix Pre 3 and the Mix Pre 6. So if you get a Mix Pre 3 now and decide later that you want a Mix Pre 6, you don't have to buy all new powering solutions. When it comes to powering the Mix Pre 3 and the Mix Pre 6, Sound Devices has provided a bunch of different options and you can see them all on their website. Both machines come with a battery sled that can hold four AA sized batteries. And they also come with a USB-C cable that splits to two USB-A cables. So here's one important thing that you need to know. If you have internal rechargeable batteries, like meaning the Sony L mounts or the AA rechargeables, the Mix Pre's do not have an internal charging circuit. So this means that if you have one of these rechargeable batteries on the Mix Pre and you have it plugged into AC and you don't happen to be recording, it's just sitting there, the Mix Pre will not be charging these batteries. So if you're gonna use rechargeables, make sure they're fully charged before you throw them on the Mix Pre's. If you wanna power the Mix Pre's with external power, your power input connector on the recorders will be the USB-C port. The included USB cable is a single USB-C connector that splits to two USB-A connectors. When you plug the Mix Pre's into a computer using this cable, you need to plug both USB-A connectors into your computer in order for the recorders to get enough power to run properly. If you use a USB-C to USB-C cable, then you'll be fine as USB-C provides enough power on the single connector for the Mix Pre's to operate normally. If you do not have enough available USB-A ports on your computer, as is the case with me, because I got a bunch of other stuff plugged in, then you will need an active USB-A hub. It's basically a USB-A hub that plugs into AC. You get one of those and you'll be fine. To avoid low power mode, the Mix Pre's require a USB power source that can output greater than 7.5 watts with at least 1.5 amps. So this means if you're going to externally power your Mix Pre, you need to make sure that external power is outputting the proper wattage and amperage. If you are going to use AA internal batteries, use either rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries or lithium ion batteries. Alkaline batteries do not last long at all. So that's a basic rundown on powering the Mix Pre 3 and the Mix Pre 6. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, daveF at dvestore.com. Do yourself a favor and subscribe right now because when you do, you'll get notified when I upload new videos with lots of cool information. Information that I learned from lots of expensive college and years of experience. Only you get it for free. So subscribe right now.